Hi Nitros, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to episode number three of Anyong K-pop, where I'm talking to you about K-pop idols or K-pop groups that you might or might not know, or that you might know but not that much, or if you just want a reminder about who an artist is. That's basically what we do in Anyong K-pop. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about our first solo artist that you might have, I guess, heard about if you're in the K-pop fandom. If you're not, maybe you will not know her. It's Jessie. So you might know Jessie as a rapper slash singer and or as an entertainer. Today, we're gonna take her full journey inside the K-pop and Korean industry and we're gonna make a video about it and I'm gonna share everything I know with you right now. So let's get started. Jesse is a Korean American rapper born uh, in December 1998 under the name Ho Hyun Joo. More on the side of entertainment, I'm not gonna talk about her private life and childhood and everything. She left the US for Korea when she was around 15 after a successful audition for Doremi Media, which was a music label at the time. I don't know if it still is or not. In 2005, she published her first single called Get Up and a year after she is featured on Uptown album Testimony. In 2009 she published her second single called The Rebirth and then she moved back to the US for quite like a hiatus. So basically from 2009 to 2014 we don't hear uh, about Jessie, she's back in the US. In 2014 she came back to Korea as a member of Lucky J which was a mixed trio composed of two guys and Jesse, guys name were Jikyun and Jiyo. The group actually disbanded in 2016. During that time, like while she was part of Lucky J, she was also a contestant in 2015 of the hit show called Unpretty Rap Star, where she ended up being second. Yet she was really, like people really saw her shine from everyone else for her different attitude, like the way she was doing and the way she was talking and also for her talent, because it was like a really raw talent. During that show, she said one of the most famous sentences, which is, we are not a team, this is a competition. And this sentence actually became the tagline of the show because how true and how impactful, well, first Jesse was, and second, this line was representing the show really well. During that year of 2015, she made a lot of apparition too on a lot of uh, variety shows such as Running Man or Happy Together, which are the two most famous Korean TV show at that time. Okay. After Unpretty Rap Star, she kept doing music. She signed with another label and redebuted kind of in 2015 with the track Sanani, which was a really powerful rap, which actually started to make her gain even more presence in the heart of the fans. So obviously she had like her fan base growing from the show, but this uh, track also make it grow a lot after the show. As you can see already from here, you can see that it was like not really a continuous journey for Jessie. It was not an easy one. So she start with one agency. She doesn't keep this agency. She continue in another agency, extra, extra. She does show, she went back to the US. She went back on a break, yet she still continue and she still overcome every difficulties that she had to overcome to make her the K-pop idol we know nowadays. So as I said, Jessie is really known as a Korean rapper slash singer, but also as an entertainer because she was on a lot of TV shows and variety shows. What is even more important about that is that she was really transparent and authentic during this show and even in general. Basically, fans just appreciate her for telling who she is without any filter and that she, the fact that she doesn't hold back anything and if you want to say something, she will say it. So I was talking about the fandom, which is called the Jebbies, and at first there were a lot of them were like quite surprised of how different Jessie was from the stereotype of idols. On top of her way of being transparent and say what she want to say, makes her really apart from most of the Korean idols that you might know. She says something to the Jebbies, which is the fandom that she also apply on herself. Um, I don't have the official line, but I'm gonna make it sounds like it as much as I can. 
And it's basically remind yourselves that the best way to prove to someone that didn't trust you in the beginning of what you are doing is to make it and to accomplish it and to be happy about what you are doing, even if it's without them. This is like kind of her mantra, I would say. And it is how she's herself and being proud of herself makes her projects even more bright and shining. Some of you might say, yeah, you are talking about authenticity, transparency, blah, blah, blah. Yet she had surgery. Yes, she had surgery. First of all, it's really common for a lot of idols to get surgery. And second of all, what you might not know is that she had at first her eyes and nose surgery done to be able to sign a contract in one of the agencies she went. Second of all, she also had breast surgery. And last time I checked about this, she never hided it. <laughs> now that we've seen a bit more about like Jesse and who she is, we might have to also know that Jesse is just not like a tiny Korean uh, rapper. Her power and her impact goes way beyond Korea. First of all, as I said, she is born in uh, the US and like she lived in the US for a while. So she is fluent in English. Yes, I know it might sound basic, but it is important. She actually collaborated with a lot of international artists, including Ed Sheeran in 2021 with the song Shivers. And she also, thanks to her multilingual abilities and the fact that she is willing to learn about more genre of music style and everything just make her popularity grow a lot as she's able to really easily interact with fans whether it's in Korea or somewhere else on the planet. Something notable too is that thanks to platforms like TikTok or even just Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, some of her latest songs also became Dance Challenge. Uh, I'm thinking about either Zoom or gum or even Nuna Nuna, which became really famous uh, dance challenge on these platforms. And one thing important that she does is that she reacts to what fans are making and she interacts with them on these platforms too. This obviously contributes to her popularity and how people feel like kind of that proximity with her, even though they know if they're realistic at least, that it's an idol and not your best friend from the house right afterwards. What you need to remember about this video is that she is true to herself and she doesn't like make things just to make other people happy. She makes things to make herself happy. And that's something you should do too, actually. And there basically you have it like a tiny glimpse of who Jessie is and what her journey inside the K-pop industry is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm also putting in the little eye over here, I don't know which side, I never know. The two other episodes that we already did before, so the BTS one and the Stray Kids one. Tell me in the comments who we should talk about next in this series. And I will tell you, see you soon in another video. Bye!